Okay, so now moving on to 14 part C. 14 part C, where we have this geometric C series question. It says at the end of each year, or sorry, at the start of each year, a new identical barrel is filled with 180 litres of the liquid, so that at the end of 20 years, there are 20 barrels containing varying amounts of the liquid. Calculate the total amount of liquid to the nearest litre in the 20 barrels at the end of the 20 years. Again, we've got to be a bit careful. We know that the, the, the first barrel, this is the beginning of the first year. I'm not going to call it A here. I'm going to change this slightly. At the beginning of the first year, there's 180 litres in the first barrel. By the, the end of the first year, that barrel will have 180 times 0 0.93 litres of liquid. So let's just do that, 0 0.93 times 180. That gives us 167.4 litres. So that first barrel, by the end of the first year, it's going to have 167.4 litres. And then by the end of the second year, it's going to go down. But at the beginning of the second, at the beginning of the second year, okay, you can say at the end of the first year, another barrel will also be added. So at the end of the, at the end of the first year, which is like the beginning of the second year, another barrel will be added, and that will go on for 20 times. So there'll be 20 barrels added. So we can say that the first term is not going to be 180. It's going to be 167.4 because at the end of that first year that's how much water will be in that first barrel okay then you'll have another barrel by the end of the first year it's also gonna um, it's gonna end of the end of the second year is gonna be 167 uh, liters in that and it's going to continue going down and down and down after that so there's 20 years altogether so we can put n equals 20 here so what we're going to do is we're going to say the sum of the first n terms is given by a times 1 minus r to the power of n, which is a formula that we were asked to prove in the beginning. It's in the formula book anyway. So we can say that at the end of those 20 years, you're going to have 167.4 times 1 minus 0 0.93 to the power of 20 over 1 minus, it's not rn, it's 1 minus r. 1 minus r. Okay, over 1 minus r, which is 1 minus 0 0.93, which is 0 0.07. Okay, so you can work out what that is, and that will be our answer. So I'm going to bring it uphill there. So we take our calculator, and we have 167.4. Let me just put it in a fraction form. So we have 167.4. Okay, um, times 1 minus 0 0.93 to the power of 20. And then close the bracket. Divided by 1 minus 0 0.93. Okay, and that will give us 183.26. 1,831. 1,831.26 to the nearest litre, so that's 100, so that's going to be 1,831 litres. Okay, there's the answer to that question. Okay, so you've got to think a little bit again because um, we're, we're thinking about the water at the end of each year, the end of those 20 years. So at the end of the first year, there's going to be 167.4 litres. At, the, at that, that first barrel, the second barrel, that's put up, the, by the end of that second year, that would have gone down to 167.4 and so on. So you've got to add up all the terms up to 20 terms, okay, of those barrels being added, okay? So it's going to be 167.4, all right, and then 0.93 less than that, then 0.39 less than that, and so on. 
and they're all added together because there's 20 barrels all together. Okay, so we have to um, start with the end of the first year, not the beginning of the first year, as the first term over 20 years. Okay, I hope that was clear. So it's slightly tricky little part to this, this particular question. Thank you for paying attention.